بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما so the next thing we'll try to understand the different types of isp connections and the naming wise how they refer we have four different types of connections to the service portal from our organization so we have something called single home dual home multi homing and the dual multi home now the single home or nothing but you just have one single connection like you can say this is my abc organization connecting to my service portal we just have one single connection to the service portal so the main problem with this one is you 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 don't have redundancy here because you know there's only one link and what if this link fails then it's going to be a single point of failure and you know everything is dependent on that particular one link so in this scenarios again as i said single homing environment you always use simple static routes and you don't you don't always prefer to run bgp in this case now dual home dual home site nothing but you have dual connections to the service portal now you can see there are two connections either going from same router to same router or maybe from same router to two different routers or maybe two different routers now the good thing about this kind of connection is it is going to provide you the redundancy for the connectivity which means if any one of the link fails still you have an alternate path to go to the service portal or to route the packets but again the limitation with this one is what if the service portal goes down because if there is any major network issue on the service portal as you are purchasing the links both the links from the same service portal then that's going to make a single point of failure even though you have two links and the second thing is even if you do path manipulation let's say later on both some traffic go from here some traffic go from here but at the end it goes from the same service portal so there is no effective path manipulation can be done in this case because you got two links but you are not taking the two links from two different service portals you just get the two links from from the same service portal in terms of connectivity it may provide you the redundancy but if there is any major issue on the service portal that's not going to help so typically you always go with multi homing environment now the multi homing is the one where will be connecting to two different service portals service portal 1 and service portal 2 maybe the same router or maybe two different routers depends how you connect so here what we'll be doing is we do have redundancy not only to the connectivity because if any one of the link fails still you can go from the second one and even if there is any major network down on the service portal you still have redundancy you can go from the second and if both are working then you can also do path manipulations like what i can do is i can say some traffic go from service portal 1 and some traffic go from service portal 2 so that's what path manipulation so we can do more effective path manipulation with the help of multi homing environment so this is a common connectivity you will find in most of the organizations where you will be connecting to two different service portals from your organization likewise you have one more last one dual multi home the same multi home but you have dual connections so you will be having a multi home but two two connections so this will provide you more redundancy but again it will increase the cost and this is more commonly used when service portals interconnect with each other so most of the time when service portals one when they exchange the routes they always use dual links like two links you know because service portals are like central uh, network from where there are hundreds of customers dependent and if there is one link issue you don't want a single point of failure so most of the connections between the two service portals they have dual links dual multi dual links again may be connecting to multiple service portals in a dual multi home environment but mostly the customers they don't go with this because it will increase the cost 
let's say if I'm using company ABC, you know, adding four links, it will also increase the cost, which is something not recommended in terms of uh, customer point of view, but more common when you connect between the multiple service providers.